Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, yes I'm not dead, I've just been sleeping. Uh, we're on the ZX Spectrum, we're looking at a pro ski simulator, so if you want to be a skier and you can't afford to get to the ski slopes, then this is the next best thing. Uh, published by Codemasters in 1987, uh, also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. So I'm sort of back, I've been quite busy at the moment. We're gonna be skiing against Horace, um, country road, take me home to a place where I belong. West Virginia, Scooby-Doo. Right, nice music this, better than my singing anyway. I think this is by the Oliver Twins, and it's an isometric skiing game, which is uh, pretty tricky. Now, if you had this one, let me know. I'm gonna do a crappy attempt at it. I'm one of these skiers, I don't know which one. Okay, so here we go. I think I'm the one on the left, yes I am. So. Blumming hell, how's this working? Keep going, keep going. I'm number one and, oops, I've got on the screen. Now the problem with this game is you're racing against the computer, but um, the screen, um, I've got stuck. The screen focuses on the lead player so you can quickly go off the screen. Yeah, see, I'm getting left behind, stuck on that hut for some reason. That's a scheme prowess. Now, when you go off the screen, the only thing you've got really is that map down the right hand side, so it's a little bit flawed. Um, yeah, I, I can't ski blind, I can't even ski proper. So, as you can see folks, in my time away, because work's been so uh, busy, but I haven't abandoned the channel completely, so in my time away, uh, my gameplay has, well, it's got worse, hasn't it, really? So I hope you I hope you are well, folks. I hope you are well. We will do the occasional video. Hopefully I won't be as busy at work all the time, and we'll touch base on this. I've been disqualified. Hooray! And that's that's the first hooray for quite some time. A huge thank you to uh, people that stayed uh, loyal to the uh, channel. Um, you know, uh, there hasn't been anything going up over the last uh, three weeks, but the subscriber numbers have still been growing, so perhaps you don't need to upload anything to get big numbers. It's a, it's a weird thing. When I was doing three videos a day in my big push to do this uh, full time in 2018, uh, it was more or less the same, so I don't know what the logic is there, and I've fallen over again. But let's just concentrate on this game. It's a bit monochrome. You've got a cyan and a dark blue. Uh, that's the colours five, I think, and one on the ZX Spectrum. And um, this game is very flawed. It's not very playable. But whether you need just lots and lots of practice on it before it actually gets any good, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But it's always the same map skiing down left and right. You need to go through these uh, flags. You see the blue flag and the white flag there. Have to get between uh, the two. Yeah. Uh, mm, okay, so was this worth waiting three weeks for? Well, um, yeah, um, um, you can lie if you want to. So there's a few of these um, professional simulators on the market, most of them by uh, Codemasters. Uh, as this is a game, I don't like it that much. Um, would it appeal to skiers? Maybe a little bit. Now, as you can see, I've gone off the map, and if you don't complete the course in a set amount of time, it's uh, game over, you're disqualified, as it says there. Now, the best thing about this game is the music. As a kid back in the day, if I got it as a present or I bought it, would I have played it a lot? Well, I would, would have played it quite a bit on day one, not so much on day two. Day three, well, maybe once. Day four, I probably would have forgot it existed and loaded up Manic Mine or Attic Attack again, because they were the main games I tended to um, uh, load. But the good thing about the ZX Spectrum and the 8-bit era in general is um, the quality well, the few, let's say, volume of the games. You do get a bit of nostalgia, even for games you haven't actually played, because you get a sort of like indication of what you would have thought of this game as a kid back in the day, and I wouldn't have thought much. Now, as you can see, I'm not making much progress on this. On every go, I've gone off the map. This guy skiing down at the moment is the computer, that's not me at all. Um, I'd imagine there's some sort of like special tactics on this. Now, if you had this game back in the day, um, then let me know. Did you um, get really, really good at it? Is it a case where you need to be playing it for a few hours so suddenly everything comes good? I presume once you got to the bottom of the course you keep doing uh, similar courses, if not the same one, and have to do it in less and less time. But there's no way in uh, God's Earth, or anyone else's Earth, I don't know who other people own Earths, if you own an Earth, comment below. But there's no way in God's Earth or any of the other ones that I'd, I'd be any good at this game ever. Good start, right, here we go. I'm the one on the left, let's try and keep up. Fire button to get a bit of speed. 
Come on, player one's. Uh, ooh, I'm a, oh, actually, I'm ahead. I was looking at the wrong person. Or was I? Yeah, right, here we go. No, I am the one at the back. Good. Super skills. Yeah, player one, that's me, and I've got stuck here. Keep going. The computer's got stuck. Oh man, this is not fun at all. This is horrendous. It's super horrendous, but it's not as bad as Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, I know a couple of you do like Jack and the Beanstalk. You must be crazy or pulling my leg. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk's a game I reviewed on the ZX Spectrum quite some time ago, and um, very recently on the Commodore 64. Both games are hideous. Commodore 64 is ever so slightly better than the Spectrum, I have to say, but I wouldn't have liked any of those uh, back in the day. We'll give this, um, look Look at the map, see the number one. I'm trying to manoeuvre that down the course, but I don't even know, you know, I don't even know what direction I'm heading in. Yeah, we'll give this a few goes to see if I get any better. Um, Peace, it says up there, I think I must be. Right, go folks, go. ZX Spectrum, it's the computer I owned back in the day, the 48K version, I never owned 128K. It was like the dream. Um, someone down the street did own one uh, with the cassette deck uh, incorporated into the actual um, computer, which I thought was the future back then. I had the old rubber keyed 48 Spectrum with the ear and mic keys connected to the uh, tape. You might have memories of that as well where a game didn't load and you changed the volume on it slightly to try and get it to load. And you spend half your day trying to get a game to load that you thought might be good uh, and then this sort of thing would load up. Crazy talk. So it's me versus Horace. Doesn't look like Horace from Horace and the Spiders, but uh, the writers of the game wouldn't have known that was going on. Um, this game, I mean, occasionally Codemasters would have a game and they make the main character dizzy to try and sell more copies. Maybe they should have done that here. Don't get me wrong, it's genius coding. Uh, it scroll, scrolls not too badly uh, for the era, but as a game overall, I don't think it quite works. But you can't you can't deny it's clever, it's original. But yes, I preferred City Bomber, the last Spectrum game we reviewed a hundred years ago, about three three weeks ago, was it something like that? Uh, Codemasters, 1987. They short um, uh, turned out the games. Um, someone tells me that on some stage of this, there's a Yeti somewhere to avoid. I'm not sure if that's uh, quite true. The Oliver Twins would know. You might know. Uh, let me let me know about that. Yeah. Um, hmm. There is a poke you can put into this to give yourself infinite time, but um, I think the video would last too long, waiting infinite time for me to get down the whole map. Um, you know, when I can't see myself on the screen, right? Let's this, this count how long it takes the computer to get me off the screen. I'm already, I'm already, oh, look at that. It's the worst. Come on. My skis must have glue on the bottom. Right, right. I've got down. I've fallen over again. Why have I fallen over? We do not know. Uh, this is probably quite accurate to how I would ski in real life. And I'm off the screen again. Yeah, see, there we go. I've got no chance. So you go back on to. Uh, the uh, the map there on the right, number two is a computer miles away down the ski slope. There's number one, you might be able to see that about the further way down. Can we manoeuvre through all this stuff? Well, it's impossible because I don't know what direction I'm pointing in. Uh, so, you know, the learning curve on this is extremely steep, but if you get up the hill, I'd imagine there's a good game underneath. Not one you can really play once and talk rubbish to um, uh, lots of people watching on YouTube as your one and get the most out of it, I don't think. So there might be more to this that I'm not seeing. Um, overall, I do not like this game, but probably because I am completely and utterly rubbish. Hooray! We haven't had a hooray for a few times, have we? There we go. So we'll have, we'll have one last go. Right, go Nick, go. Cheer, give me your good thought vibes. You never know, I might get good. Right, there we go. I'm, I've, I've fallen over. Um, if you thought I was going to fall over on that one, um, then comment below. You must be able to see quite accurately into the future. The future. Now, uh, already at this point, I'm not going to play this much longer. I haven't made a video for quite some time, and I'm struggling to remember what I normally say at the end of the videos. Um, I'm sure it'll come back to me automatically, but this will be my last go. Ace. Is it Ace? Well, it's quite painful to watch, isn't it, really? Good stuff. This this channel only exists to um, ease stress. If it's easing your stress, then great, and to relieve memories of calls and nostalgia. So those those sort of like uh, free things. Prepare for some music, because I'm not going to get down this uh, ski slope, blue as it is, blue snow. 
Why wasn't it white? Well, anyway, blue snow, here we go. Oh no, um, I think it's about time for me to go. See, I'm, I'm also, as well as a top game player, I'm also a top poet, but we all knew this. So we'll leave that one there. Hope you liked having a look at that. That was Pro Ski Simulator on the ZX Spectrum, published by Codemasters in 1987. Thanks for watching that one, as always. And thank you to people that are still subscribing, despite hardly anything that's been going up. I love you all. Until next time, hopefully there'll be another video soon. Till next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.